Arnold and Brendan Fletcher. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Tourist Trap. Tourist Trap is a 1998 television release. It is directed by Richard Benjamin, cinematography by Ron Oreo, editing by Jacqueline Cambus, music by Cynthia Miller, and it's written by Andy Breckman. Richard Benjamin is best known for Goodbye Columbus, Deconstructing Harry, The Last of Sheila, and Westworld. Ron Oreo, I covered in the video about Still Not Quite Human, the link will be in the description. Jacqueline Canvas is best known for Frankie and Johnny, Now and Then, The Butterfly Effect 2, and Black Rain. Cynthia Miller is best known for My Left Foot, The Good Son, Far From Heaven, and Paul. Andy Breckman is best known for Monk, Triumphs, Election Watch 2016, Saturday Night Live, and Rat Race. The film stars Daniel Stern, Julie Hegarty, Margot Finley, Blair Slater, David Rash, Ryan Reynolds, Brendan Fletcher, and Paul Giamatti. Daniel Stern plays George Piper, and is best known for Home Alone 1 and 2, City Slickers, and The Wonder Years. Julie Hagerty plays Bess Piper, and is best known for Airplane, Freddy Got Fingered, Marriage Story, and Just Friends. Margot Finley plays Rachel Piper, and is best known for D3 The Mighty Ducks, The Odyssey, Opposite Sex, and First Wave. Blair Slater plays Josh Piper, and is best known for Reindeer Games, The Truman Show, Goosebumps, and Bye Bye Birdie. David Rash plays Derek Early and is best known for United 93, In the Loop, Burn After Reading, and Men in Black 3. Ryan Reynolds plays Wade Early, which is hilarious, and he's best known for Deadpool 1 and 2, Buried, and X-Men Origins Wolverine. Brendan Fletcher plays Kyle Early and he's best known for Freddy vs. Jason, RV, Rampage, and Tideland. Paul Giamatti plays Jeremiah Piper and he's best known for Cinderella Man, Sideways, American Splendor, and 12 Years a Slave. This film was a mixed bag for me. I want to say for the most part I wasn't having a good time. I was either bored or I was embarrassed. I was I so much secondhand embarrassment in this film and I don't do well with secondhand embarrassment. It's really hard for me to watch things that are embarrassing. Like I get secondhand embarrassment so bad. Really really bad. Um, and this movie had a lot of that and I didn't, I, I, it was a lot for me, but I feel like the second half, um, I did like have fun, like I thought it was fun. Um, there were parts of it that I was genuinely like, yo, this family is like really toxic and stuff. But then there were parts of it where I was like, oh, they're all going to learn to like appreciate each other and all that. And that's, that ended up being what happened, which is nice. That's nice that they all like learn to appreciate each other by watching a different family, which is always the way I feel like. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't say that this was, you know, super funny or super entertaining, but I will say this film is ridiculously star-studded. Daniel Stern, Julie Haggerty, Paul Giamatti, Ryan Reynolds, David Rash, Brendan Fleur, like 90% of this cast, wow. I tweeted actually to Ryan Reynolds and Brendan Fletcher saying, oh my gosh, look who, you know, showed up in the movie I watched. And uh, Brendan Fletcher actually retweeted it and said, whoa, that's cool. So uh, that's fun. That's a fun little piece of information. Um, this was, I, I feel like after finishing it, I do remember it fondly. Like I laughed and it was heartwarming at the end. But I do also know that I was not having a good time in the middle, like, while I was watching. But once, I don't know, once it became more, like, less about the family being such a mess and more about, like, that family realizing that the other family had all its issues and that they're not bad. I, like, I had a better time. I don't know how to explain it, but that's pretty much all I have to say about Taurus Trap because... Uh, wasn't my favorite, wasn't the worst though. We are getting, I feel like we're getting out of like some of the worst movies. Like we had a stretch there that was really bad. And this was definitely entertaining. Definitely an easy watch. You guys could totally watch this and have a good time. Seeing all these star-studded actors before they went on to do whatever they go on to do was crazy. Or some of them post what they did. Because Daniel Stern and Julie Haggerty is post their big time movies. 
but like Paul Giamatti and Ryan Reynolds and Brendan Fletcher and them are all pre their big time movies. So that's crazy, crazy. Um, okay, that's everything I have. So my final rating is five RVs out of 10 are till the movie count is. Parent death toll and cry count are still the same. I almost thought that Ryan Reynolds is and Brendan Fletcher's mom in the movie died, but she was just an ex-wife, that's right. So, um, parent that's when crack on are still the same. If you want to keep up with them, if you want to win, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you'll find out what we want to win. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon, buy merch. Until next time, comment, subscribe, and I'll you are, so you do it, and don't be... I kind of want to say David about it, or not David, Derek about it. <laughs> David's real name. Because he was, like, a really mean dad. But also, he, like, was nice and learned a lesson. So I don't know if there's anyone in this movie that's, like, actually... Oh, don't be stork about it. You know what? Don't be stork about it. He's a deadbeat, piece of poo, wanted his girl to be miserable so she wouldn't leave him. It was bad. Don't be him. Um, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Toodles.